right welcome back people thank you very much for being watching this video welcome back to Jung media um let's start with uh, the second video of the test cafe series of uh, testing automation end-to-end -end. hope that you can enjoy this series and and i guess that this is gonna be the this the emotional startup that everyone needs to have and you will see that it is very very easy so all right let's see what what we need to start working with test cafe all right okay basically what we need at first is to install node.js which is basically um how this cafe is gonna work um you just have to come here node.js.org and come here to the lts um, version and you will have three different options for uh, for you to download you have the windows option the mac os option and the, the there's another option that you don't have to download <laughs> unless you you want to do something else all right so basically as soon as you have this downloaded and installed in your computer you can come here and open the cmd the command prompt and look for note uh, dash p i guess and you will see that you have node.js installed in your computer that's amazing so yeah basically that's that's the the initial installation that we have to, to install in our computer in order to start and as soon as we have this uh, we also have to download the code i'm sorry the visual studio code which is my favorite code uh, updating uh, software i guess that there are a lot of uh, code or text editors out there but to be honest this is the one that i'm using right now and it has a lot of interesting features uh, for for example in telesense uh, building jet it has an integration for uh, spn jet hub for example or bitbucket jet in general extensions and we're gonna see one extension that is gonna be or which is gonna be the one that makes us our life easiest easier sorry so yeah that's it i guess that as soon as we have the, this uh, these two software in our computer we can start working on this so let's start doing a doing uh doing a folder named test cafe actually you can name it as 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 you want there there is no problem in the naming convention <laughs> and after that i'm gonna open up b Soul studio amazing as soon as i have it open it um i'm gonna open a folder which is the folder that i want to use as main folder and as soon as i have this um just want to let you know that you can install an extension that is going to be useful for you in order to create your uh, test cafe scripts which is test cafe snippets you can search for it here and just write in test cafe <laughs> you're gonna have three options the first of them is the one that i recommend you can also use uh, this one but it is it, it is going to be useful in future videos you will see amazing so as soon as you have it installed here you're going to have a kind of install button so click on it and wait for a few minutes and you will have it installed globally amazing so all right well um going back for our folder what we have to install here is the test cafe um, uh, library so basically let's go to test cafe documentation which is which it's gonna be looked or can be searched at google.com you can look for test cafe after that click on this and go for docs mm -hmm. amazing and after that go to guides and uh, install test cafe amazing and after that you just have to come here and look for the command that we need which is um I guess that this one npm the install test cafe i'm gonna install it as um as it depends you see and there we go we just have to wait for a few minutes actually maybe seconds if you're if you have an excellent <laughs> internet connection but they have few megas megabytes to download so we have to be patient here 
and I guess that that's basically the, the installation of this cafe as you can see here it is very, very fast actually it's very quick and it is very easy to be honest and that's it I guess um, it is installing the node modules that we have to use for test cafe let's just wait for a few seconds more okay amazing so you can see here we have the node modules modules that we need for test cafe and uh, we have a package that uh, dash lock that JSON, which is okay. Um, we have to let in there, and we also have to create a file which is gonna be named as package that JSON. Amazing. Inside of package that JSON, we have to um, create a script. Scripts, I'm sorry scripts mm -hmm. I guess I'm right let me see yes there is an, a mistake here mm -hmm. all right we have scripts um, and you are gonna see why I'm creating this in a few minutes after this we have the package that JSON that JSON is set and created we have to create a folder of tests and that's it i guess and inside of the folder test we have to create uh, the first test i guess first test actually i'm gonna i'm gonna be uh, creating a new folder which is gonna be session two mm -hmm. and then uh, and inside of session two i want to create the test uh, first test dot js amazing so let me see mm -hmm. all right we have the the first the first test js file in our project <laughs> so what what is what is the next step you might wondering right now so let's let's go to the documentation here and as you can see we we have we have different ways to to run our scripts i guess that this is the one that i prefer and it is just calling it the script using uh, the package.json and naming it as accordingly uh, to our needs. So we have this script here. This is going to be test, but I want to to change the name for demo test to show you that we can name this script as we want. Demo test, amazing. And as you can see here, there are a few words that are going to be defining the the structure or how it is going to be uh, executed so basically let's start the 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 key which is more important here is test cafe and after that we can specify the browser that we want to use in this case we're going to use chrome for example good uh, cool and we're going to specify which tests we want to specify here um, I guess that the first uh, test that we want to use is inside session 2 the folder session 2 and inside of it we have first test.js that's good <laughs> so we have the, the script to run the first uh, test.js file that we have here and you may wonder what is the syntax that we have to use in order to run in the script All right. Let's see the documentation here, and as you can see, we can organize our test in two main uh, two main blocks. I guess that's that could be the word. <laughs> the the first uh, um, the first step that we have to to follow is to create the fixture, and as you can see here, it is it is like a kind of category. Um, of how test cafe is gonna run and inside a fixture we could have multiple tests for a single category let me try to give you an example let's use for example this demo QA for it to say something we might be creating a fixture called um, textbox I don't know and inside of textbox we can have different tests for example, uh, the first one might be, um, I don't know, maybe 
filling this information to get a wrong result so we can uh, see if if it is failing as expected and we could have another test in order to have the positive results so we can have a single picture a single category with two different tests so basically what that is what the um, picture is meant to be and that's why we have multiple tests inside a picture we can have multiple pictures in our uh, framework that's that's for sure possible but in this particular case i want to show you a simple um test case but i just wanted to have it clear for you and then how it is going to work so let's start let's try to give you a uh, quick example here i'm going to use this structure and as you can see here we have a picture at the top the name is gonna be my picture i want to call it first test amazing and after that i want to go to this particular website which was um i guess that i i i lost it <laughs> let me see where you said uh it's here tools q8 amazing so i'm gonna come here and in this with this word, that page, with this key, with this uh, uh, command, I'm gonna specify the picture to go to this page. So basically, I'm gonna uh, write down the page that I wanna go here. And it, it, it means that all the tasks that we're gonna perform down there could have a single page if we prefer it, or we can have multiple pages in different tasks. For example, let's see. Let's say that I just want the picture uh, here, and every test is gonna have a single page here. So let's see. Let's say that um, we have two tests, for example, and uh, each test is gonna visit or it is going to uh, enter a different URL. So let's say that the first one is gonna come here and enter to this site and i'm gonna have a track of it using console.log and using the keyword dev test cafe site for say something mm -hmm. and the second one i just want to go to tools demo qa that count textbooks okay i'm gonna i'm gonna use this here and you're gonna see see it working so i use a council log to keep a track on it and i'm also gonna use um demo qa site to say something like that all right we can use this structure for for sample and i want to try to run this Mm -hmm. and I guess that I'm, I'm done let's try it all right how I can run this script you might wondering right I guess as at, uh, as as you remember I created a script here named demo test who is um, redirecting to our folder session to inside inside tests and the specific first test dot js so basically basically what we have to do here is um, write down npm run and demo test which is the the name that of the name of the script that we created in the package that json file and after that you're gonna see how test cafe open up the instance with node.js working under under it and as you can see, the first page that it visits is Test Cafe site, and the second is tools.qa. So basically, as you can see here, also in the console, uh, we have two different console logs with um, the messages that we uh, wanted to see, and also the, the fixture or the category, the main category of this uh, particular test cases group that we, we executed. So yeah. I guess that this is a very good uh, startup. It is a very good um, video to install the environment that we need, how we can do it. And as you can see, it's very simple and very quick. 
um, yeah, I guess that it was a very good example. As you can see here in Test Cafe, we have multiple uh, topics that we can cover, and probably we. We'll, I I'm gonna try to take a look of them in for in different videos, and I hope that you that you can support me with a single like and subscribing to this channel to see more content uh, of this type. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope that you can uh, learn a little bit of that and see you soon, guys. Goodbye.